The cannabis show is for information only. You should always consult with a qualified and licensed physician or other medical care provider. Welcome to the cannabis show. Today we explore the strain Sachigo by Afria. Basil introduces us to a new bud and we answer your questions on You Can Ask Us Anything. Keep watching. Afria Sichigo, or Sour Kush, is a complete strain in my opinion, meaning it is versatile for different times of the day. If you're tired, it could help you get those extra Zs. It could also give you that relaxed feeling to get you through the rest of a stressful afternoon. Sichigo is said to be a go-to for many people dealing with back pain and other aches. Filled with terpenes such as myrcene, caryophyllene, and limonene, it is no wonder this hybrid is used by patients for pain, insomnia, and stress, but let's not stop there. Arthritis, inflammation, anxiety and depression, and even acid reflux are all on the list. Sachigo has a pleasant earthy scent and definitely has a bite when you vape it. I would say that Sachigo should be more for the experienced cannabis user with THC in the higher teens, or in the case of my latest batch from Afria, 23%. Sachigo by Afria. I spend a lot of time out and about in the cannabis industry, but also trying to advocate for cannabis in any industry I can. I'm often asked how I got into the cannabis industry and how to secure a job in this growing sector. First, I want to say I believe there currently are and will be a ton of opportunities in the near and distant future. So whether you're a master grower or someone who would prefer to sweep the trimming floor, there's likely something for you out there. There's some really good resources to help guide you in your journey to cannabis in your work life. Take a look at sites like Cannabis at Work, a site that offers job listings, training, and recruitment services within the cannabis industry itself. Other cannabis-specific sites that offer training, jobs, and general information around the cannabis industry in Canada include Cannabis Compliance Inc. or CCI, or even just using the keyword cannabis on career sites like Indeed or Monster. Other strategies could include talking to people in the industry. It's amazing what you can find out by grabbing a quick coffee or a quick smoke with someone to discuss opportunities. I'll be back soon with more industry tips. Keep your head high. Hello and welcome to The Cannabis Show. We got Basil, Kate, Hart and myself, I'm Chris. And uh, you know, I love that, that segment about this industry being so vibrant and people looking for jobs and you know, there's so much going on, and literally, there really is something for everyone out there. If you're there, you know, if you're looking for a job in the industry, just be persistent. Like, keep at it. Don't get discouraged. There's lots of opportunities. Yeah, yeah. different levels as well. Yeah, lots of organizations out there to help too, like you had mentioned. Yeah, lots Excellent. of good ones for sure. And what's that? Uh, like, I mean, I know here in Alberta, we got the self. Is it safe, so, safe sell? Right. right. Yeah. What is it's that? not hard. It's something like that, and it's Alberta Liquor Gaming Commission or whatever that put that on too. You can do it online. I did it. it was like 26 bucks. Super easy. And definitely worth doing and they education. tell you a lot about cannabis as well that you probably didn't even know right yeah. you know unless you watch the show you know then you're like i knew that <laughs> yeah I knew that. that's a requirement yeah. if you're going to sell cannabis yeah. in alberta you, i think you that's must. in the bylaw yeah it's like there's uh oh i thought you were watching the yeah, show that's, <laughs> that's, a, that's a requirement yeah you must it is a requirement yeah, 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 yeah anything to do with cannabis so that's definitely something to uh, check out and uh yeah i tell you that afria the sachigo the sour kush re really really nice you like that one eh? i you know they say it could be like you know up to 18 19 percent i'm 22 point Six five percent THC. Yeah, yeah. And, you know, I treated it with that in mind, but yeah, no, really nice drink. What's it called? It's uh, called Sachigo. It's a sour kush. What a great name! Sour yeah, definitely worth in uh, worth checking out. Uh, we are going to be back uh, with the panel. We're actually going to get Evan on here for uh, you can ask us anything. Uh, we're going to check in with Kate in just a sec, and also uh, Basil's bud. So we'll see you shortly. Thank you to Europe for conducting some major cannabis studies that we can all learn from. A 2018 European Journal of Internal Medicine article reported on the effects of cannabis therapy on 3,000 patients with cancer. 2018, 3,000 patients. They measured things like reduction of pain, improvement in the control of sleep problems, fatigue, anxiety, depression, nausea, and vomiting. 18.7% of these cancer patients reported good quality of life prior to the cannabis therapy. 
18.7% prior to cannabis. Six months later, 69.5% of those 3,000 cancer patients in the European study reported good quality of life at six months after cannabinoid therapy. 36% of those patients stopped using opioids. This is Basil's Buds, where I talk about someone awesome who I kind of wish was my bud. Alison Gordon is the CEO of one of Canada's younger LPs, 48 North. A marketer at heart, Allison has worked with multiple cannabis companies on everything from marketing strategy and brand awareness to patient acquisition. Unlike some of the executives in our industry, it would seem Allison brings real-world cannabis experience with her to the job. Prior to jumping into the industry, she co-founded and was the executive vice president of Rethink Breast Cancer where she undoubtedly met and spoke with many people who were willing to share their stories of using cannabis to battle cancer. Allison went on to be the CMO at WeedMD before moving up to the helm at 48 North. I'm excited at the thought of marketing gurus taking up spots at the top of our world-leading cannabis companies. I personally love so many things about our existing cannabis culture, but a bit of a facelift definitely wouldn't hurt. You can ask us anything on the Cannabis Show. And uh, today's question from Colette actually ended off with this phrase. I love the show and especially love Evan's tutorial on growing. So we got a growing question today from Colette. Actually, we got a bunch of questions, uh, Evan. So uh, here we go. Hi, I have several plants I'm now harvesting for the first time. I am able to see the trichomes under my inspection microscope. I hear lots of talk about when to harvest. The seeds I use from Tweed tell you how many weeks in flower. Do I go by that information or do I go by the trichomes? I have a high CBD plant that has mostly cloudy, a few clear and a few amber. It just passed nine weeks and the instructions say 10 weeks. So my other question also is how much of the plant can I cut off now and let, the complete, uh, let it complete 10 weeks? Will I damage the plant if I take off half the plant to harvest a little earlier? How much is okay to harvest without taking the whole plant? <sighs> <sighs> Thanks, <So>. Colette. <laughs> <laughs> Thank you awesome. for being here. Yeah. Awesome question. Um, got a lot going on there. Um, if it looks like it's ready to harvest, you're looking at those trichomes and the majority of them are cloudy and a few of them are amber and maybe a few are still clear, then you're probably getting pretty close. That one week difference, you might get a little bit more amber trichomes, therefore a little bit more CBN. You might find that cannabis is more sedative, but Everybody's different and they prefer to harvest at different times. I wouldn't take down at two different times. It's just going to be doing work twice. I would take it all down at once and uh, cure it all together. Um, it's going to be personal preference. I might wait one more week, not necessarily because Tweed told you to, but um, that end of life cycle is really when those trichomes plump up. And so it sounds like it might be worth waiting. And I think you'll get some really nice cannabis out of that. Awesome. Nice. Thanks. Thanks, Evan. Uh, if you got a question for the uh, Cannabis Show, by all means, reach out to us. This is the Cannabis Show at gmail.com.